Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Fun with English, Grade 5, Book 5A. I am Sakina Kankuni. Today we are going to talk about Episode 2, Unit 2, From Old to New, Vocabulary and Reading Comprehension. You had the homework on People's Book, page 33. Read the story below and fill in the diagram. So, to answer this diagram, you have to read the story. Let's check your answers. In the character column, we have Tom, Jane, and Sally. Sequence of events. Number one was done for you. They went to the biggest mall in the city. Number two, they went from one shop to another. They bought a sparkling necklace for their mom. Jane bought a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. They bought two scoops of vanilla ice cream and one scoop of chocolate from a cafe. All right, boys and girls. Now let's move on to the new vocabulary. Listen carefully. Parking lot. Parking lot. Parking lot. Can you repeat after me? Parking lot. One more time. Parking lot. One more time, please. Parking lot. Great job. Parking lot is a noun. There is a large parking lot in the avenue's mall. Can you think of another example? Well done. Great job, boys and girls. Our next word is cooperative society. Cooperative society. Cooperative society. Repeat after me. Cooperative society. One more time. Cooperative society. Great job! And cooperative society is a noun. Let's use cooperative society in a sentence. There is a cooperative society in our neighborhood. There is a cooperative society in our neighborhood. We can buy many things from the cooperative society. Great job, boys and girls! Next, we have the word public. 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 Can you repeat after me? Public, public, public. Well done, boys and girls. Public is an adjective. That means for everyone. So the word public means for everyone. It's an adjective. Let's use it in a sentence. They went to the public park next to their house. They went to the public park next to their house. Next, we have the word cultural. Cultural, cultural. Can you say it with me? Cultural. One more time. Cultural. Excellent, boys and girls. Cultural is an adjective. Let's use the word cultural in a sentence. The cultural center in Kuwait has six buildings. The cultural center in Kuwait has six buildings. Look at the picture. In the picture, there is a cultural center. The cultural center in Kuwait has six buildings. Abdullah al Salim is a cultural center. Next, we have the word complex. 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 Can you say it with me? Complex. One more time. Complex. Great job. Complex is a noun. Look at the picture. Complex is a group of buildings. Complex is a group of buildings like the picture. Let's use it in a sentence. I live in a big complex in Hawalli. I live in a big complex in Hawalli. All right, boys and girls. Now let's move on to our next word. Robotic. 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 One more time. Robotic. Repeat after me. Robotic. Look at the picture. Robotic is an adjective relating to or of the nature of robots. Robotic means relating to or of the nature of robots. Let's use the word robotic in a sentence. My young brother likes robotic toys. My young brother likes robotic toys. Great job, boys and girls. Next, we have the word giant. 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 Say it with me. Giant. One more time. Giant. Great job, boys and girls. Look at the picture. I can see a giant robot. Giant is an adjective. That means very big. Giant is an adjective. 
which means very big. In the picture, I can see a giant robot. Let's use it in a sentence. We saw a giant robot in the cultural center. We saw a giant robot in the cultural center. Can you think of more examples like this? Our next word is relax. 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 Repeat after me. Relax. Relax. Last time, relax. Great job, boys and girls. Relax is a verb. Relax. Let's use it in a sentence. Nasser likes to relax on the beach. Nasser likes to relax on the beach. I like to relax on the sofa. So, relax is a verb. Next, we have the word store. 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 Repeat after me. Store. One more time. Store. Great job, boys and girls. Store is a noun. Look at the picture. In the picture, I can see clothing store. Clothing store. Let's use it in a sentence. Let's go to the clothing store to buy a new dress. Let's go to the clothing store to buy a new dress. Can you think of names of more stores? I'm sure you can, boys and girls. All right. Our next word is technology. 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 Repeat after me. Technology. Very good, boys and girls. Technology is a noun. Let's use it in a sentence. We are living in the age of technology. We are living in the age of technology. Technology is important these days. Next, we have the word fantastic. Fantastic. Again, fantastic. One more time. Fantastic. It's an adjective. It's an adjective. Let's use it in a sentence. Sara looks fantastic in her pink dress. Sara looks fantastic in her pink dress. That's all with the vocabulary, my boys and girls. Now let's move on to practice. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C and D. Read and choose the correct answer from A, B, C and D. Number one. Yesterday, we went to the space center to learn about space. Yesterday, we went to the space center to learn about space. Is it A. Fantastic? B. Excited? C. Sparkling? Or D. Cultural? One more time. Yesterday, we went to the fantastic center to learn about space. Yesterday, we went to the excited center to learn about space. Yesterday, we went to the sparkling center to learn about space. Or, yesterday we went to the cultural center to learn about space. What do you think? Take a minute. Yes, that's right. Yesterday, we went to the cultural center to learn about the space. So, the answer is D, cultural. All right. Let's move on to number two. I like going to the beach to swim and... A, C. B, decide. C, relax. Or D. Weave. I like going to the beach to swim and see. I like going to the beach to swim and decide. I like going to the beach to swim and relax. I like going to the beach to swim and weave. What do you think, boys and girls? Yes, that's right. The answer is C. Relax. I like going to the beach to swim and relax. All right, boys and girls. We are done with the practice. Now, let's move on to the reading comprehension. Tips for reading. Remember, boys and girls, read the text more than once. Read the questions. Read the first sentence of each paragraph carefully. And write your answers in full sentences and clear handwriting. Now, let's read the email. Dear Emily, I am so excited that you are going to visit Kuwait next week. I want to take you to Sheikh Abdullah Al Salim Cultural Center, one of the world's largest complexes. The cultural center has six main buildings. There are four museums, the Space Museum, 
the Science Museum, the Natural History, and the Arabic Islamic Science Museum. The two other buildings are the Fine Arts Center and the Theater. Going to the Cultural Center is like traveling through time to learn about past and future life. We can learn about the world of dinosaurs that lived on Earth 65 million years ago. We can also see a giant robot and get to know the latest ways that robotic technology can help people. Moreover, we can see the planets and learn about space. Around the center, there is a fantastic open space where we can sit and relax. Often, there are also outdoor activities we will have a great time. Best wishes, Yasmin. Now let's answer the questions. A. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C and D. Read carefully and choose the correct answers from the options. The best title for this passage is The Sheikh Abdullah Al Salim Cultural Center B. The Space Museum C. The Outdoor Activities D. The Fine Arts Center Again, the best title for this passage is A. Sheikh Abdullah Al Salim Cultural Center B. The Space Museum C. Outdoor Activities or D. The Fine Arts Center What do you think? That's right, it's A. Sheikh Abdullah Al Salim Cultural Center So, the best title for this passage is Sheikh Abdullah Al Salim Cultural Center. Number two. The opposite of the underlined word largest in line four is A. Oldest, B. Smallest, C. Biggest, or D. Shortest. Remember, we are after the opposite of the underlined word largest in line four. Is it A. Oldest, B. Smallest, or C. Biggest? or the shortest. Let's go back to the paragraph and read to find the answer. Dear Emily, I'm so excited that you are going to visit Kuwait next week. I want to take you to Sheikh Abdullah Al Salim Cultural Center, one of the world's largest complexes. So what do you think? That's right, the opposite of the underlined word largest in line 4 is B smallest. Great job, boys and girls. Let's move on to question number three. The meaning of the underlined word giant in line number two is A. Huge B. Natural C. Fantastic or D. Cultural Again, the meaning of the underlined word giant in line number two is A. Huge B. Natural C. Fantastic or D. Cultural Take a minute. That's right, it's A huge. The answer is A huge. The meaning of the underlined word giant is huge. Now, answer the following questions. Number one, why is Yasmin planning to visit Sheikh Abdullah Al Salim Cultural Center? What do you think? Let's go back to the paragraph and find the answer. Dear Emily, I'm so excited that you are going to visit Kuwait next week. I want to take you to Sheikh Abdullah Al Salim Cultural Center, one of the world's largest complexes. So, why is Aunt Yasmin planning to visit Sheikh Abdullah Al Salim Cultural Center? Yes, that's right, because she wants to take her friend Emily to visit one of the world's largest complexes because she wants to take her friend Emily to visit one of the world's largest complexes. Let's move to number two. If you visit the Space Museum, what can you see there? If you visit the Space Museum, what can you see there? Remember, we have to go back to the paragraph to find the answer. I can see the planets and learn about space. That's right. I can see the planets and learn about space. All right, boys and girls, that's it with the reading comprehension and we have reached to our, the end of our episode today. In this episode, we have learned lots of fun and new things. We learned how to use a new vocabulary in meaningful sentences. 
and how to answer reading comprehension questions correctly. Thank you so much for watching boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you on the next episode soon. Goodbye for now.